Good morning and welcome to today's verse. Today's verse comes to us from 2 Corinthians chapter 9 and verse 6, and I will read it. It says, But this I say, he who sows sparingly will also reap sparingly, and he who sows bountifully will also reap bountifully. Here we have the principle of sowing and reaping. And it is not simply just a matter of sowing seed in the ground, such as planting corn and beans or some type of melon, and later on you receive a harvest. But this is in the giving of your money. And so Paul, at the beginning of this particular chapter, reminds the church at Corinth of their commitment, the commitment that they made to help those that were less fortunate uh, that are living in Jerusalem, that Paul is on his way there to receive their resources, to receive their gift. Paul knew, as we know, that there are some folk that just, uh, they, it's not in their heart to give. And so he uses this illustration that just about anybody during that time would be able to understand because they were an agrarian society. They were a farming community in agriculture. So Paul is not the coming to collect uh, their fruits and vegetables, but rather he's coming to collect their money. And this farming principle of sowing and reaping is the same as it is in the giving of our money. So if you give sparingly, you will also reap sparingly. And he who gives bountifully will also reap bountifully. I mean, you don't sow seed into the ground and, and expect to receive nothing in return, and neither does God expect you to sow financially and receive nothing in return. And this is, and it is not what uh, you give. It is not about who gives the most. Because uh, don't you know that two people of different income levels could give the same amount or give the same $100? And it has not the same impact on the giver. I mean, if a person has a million dollars, they give $100. I mean, that's less, that's their tip money. I mean, it's like giving them a dollar versus someone that makes, you know, $10,000 a year, they give $100, it really has cost them something. So one person can give $100 and another person can give $2, and yet the person that gave $2, depending on the income level, has given so much more. Remember the woman at, that in the treasury that threw her two pence or two pennies into the treasury, and everyone had to give an out of her abundance, but she gave all that she had, and she was the one that the Lord noticed and used as an example of someone that trusted in God and gave all that she had, and God was going to bless her exceedingly. So the type of giving that pleases God is, is, is the type of giving where a person gives sacrificially from their heart. For such is a cheerful giver, somebody that loves to give, somebody that gets excited about giving. Why? Because they know that it pleases God. Listen, God don't need your wallet. He don't want your wallet, but he does. But he, what he does want, he wants your heart. And see, when God gets your heart, your wallet is going to open up anyway. Why? Because you want to do what is pleasing unto the Lord. So sowing and reaping is one of those great principles that we have in scripture. But notice this, that the person actually has to do it. They have to actually put it into practice. You just can't go around pretending to give and sacrificially and expect to be blessed by God. Why? Because God knows your heart. <laughs> to God be the glory for the great things he has done. I pray that you would meditate upon this verse. It'd be a word of encouragement to you today as you go throughout your day. And I pray that you have a safe day and then tune in again tomorrow. Yes, as we consider today's verse.